nestled in the constant bustle of Rapongi is a unique bar that takes its name from a legendary arena, MSG, Madison Square Garden. Welcome fans to Bar MSG. On April the 6th, Ring of Honor and New Japan Pro Wrestling present G1 Supercard live from Madison Square Garden. All the tickets sold out instantly, but you can still see it live on njpwworld.com. Here today, we're going to talk about what makes Madison Square Garden so special to both the wrestlers and fans alike. Let's go ahead and open up the doors. Let's invite our first guests in here to Bar MSG. From world-class entertainment to martial struggle, smiles and wonder, to blood, sweat, and tears, it's all here. The absolute mecca of sports and entertainment, Madison Square Garden. A new chapter in New Japan Pro Wrestling history will be written right here. So my first guest here at Bar MSG is the one and the only never open weight champion, Will Ospreay. It is great to see you, my friend. Good to see you too, man. We yes. have not been together since the beginning of the year, and what a start. Kampai. Kampai. That's a special import we got just for you. Oh, wow. It See? does taste actually quite nice. See, you're special. I'm normally a rosé guy, I'm not going to lie. but Well, we're all out of rosé here at Bar MSG. <laughs> Ring of Honor, New Japan Pro Wrestling, G1 Supercard, Madison Square Garden. Just being able to perform in Madison Square Garden, what does that mean to you? This is one of those things again where you just said that and I don't think it's real. <laughs> it's like, real. It, but like that's that's the thing, it's always been the home of like another company. Mm -hmm. And to, to be able to perform there, you have to be a great singer, songwriter, or a, a, an artist of some sort, and you know, I, I can't sing. So the other option would have to be going to that other company. Which has never intrigued me. I've never really found that aspiration and want to go there. It's just now I sit here in the MSG bar in Rapongi. Uh, <laughs> we brought it all the way over from New York City, right from Midtown Manhattan. We dropped it right here in Rapongi. And I just, as a kid, I still don't think it's real. And like, even my mom and dad had called me up and went, Are you going to be at MSG? And I was like, I think I am. Do, um, because it is such a historic American venue, does yes. Madison Square Garden have significance to uh, young British children growing oh, up? Do they so. know like, what it means? My, oh, not even just young British children. I think everybody knows of Madison Square Garden, but even just, for example, like my cousin Sydney, she's just like, oh, like she's got like people like, oh, this person performed in there. And then like my dad would be like, oh, do you know that Beatles performed in there? And my mum would be like, oh, do you know that Queen performed in there? Mm -hmm. And like you're hearing all these people, and <laughs> I'm just going like, and Will Ospreay is going to perform in there. Will from down the road, mummy's boy, Billy. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, it doesn't feel real. Elton John, The Who, I mean, it's- a Oasis? Oasis, Coldplay. How many more British acts can we name that we've Shove it in there. David Bowie. <laughs> I mean, they have all been there. And now, it's, it's Will just... Ospreay, you started Bar MSG, and then we go to April 6th. This is weird. Yeah. It's just the, you know, it's been called the Mecca. It's been called the world's most famous arena. Yeah. It is all of those things in one. And just in terms of wrestling, um, we know that New Japan wrestlers have been there as well throughout the years. Like in 1978, Tatsumi Fujinami wrestled there. In 82, the famous Tiger Mask Dynamite Kid match. Now, Will Ospreay. 2019, Will Ospreay, Madison Square Garden. Oh, God. Mind blower. It is, because I don't feel like I belong there. Yes, you do. <laughs> it's weird. It really, no, you just got to understand. Have another oh, Cabernet. Come Lord. on. You'll be good. You just don't understand for me. When I used to watch wrestling, when wrestling was in a Madison Square Garden, right? You know, I remember matches like 
Eddie Guerrero versus Kurt Angle. And oh. Guerrero's my hero, man. Like, the way that he would just connect with me through a TV screen. I've never seen Eddie Guerrero mm -hmm. live, but I would just watch and just be astounded by the things that he'd do. He's so cheeky. I was just like, ah, oh, God, that's who I want to be. Right. I want to be like that. And the talent that he brought. And to know that he came from here, know that he came from New Japan Pro right. Wrestling, and just to see him go from like there to the small independents, to ECW, to WWE, and to let people down at that time, and then get brought back up and work his after ass off to get to the back. Yeah, think about that. The one of the members of the legendary Guerrero wrestling family and an Olympic gold medalist in one of your most vivid Madison Square Garden wrestling memories, and now the last break. Have a uh, have some cashews. Come on, we've spared no expense here at Bar yeah. MSG. What can we expect from you on April the 6th, regardless of the opponent, regardless of the opportunity, regardless of what's on the line for you? What do you hope to do on April the 6th? I would like to show people, I'm sorry if I get a little bit emotional here, but I would like to show people me. I get the feeling that a lot of people judge and a lot of people don't really know who I am, where I've come from, and they like to assume and to make assumptions of me. And I'm a kid that grew up in Essex whose mum wanted him to be a dancer and dad wanted him to be a football player. For some strange reason, I got hooked and addicted to professional wrestling. And I spent years being picked on, being bullied, being, being a little bit of an outcast, being a laughing stock of my entire school. And every year, my teacher would look at me and say, what do you want to be? Without shame or any doubt in my mind, I said, I'm going to be a professional wrestler. And sometimes things happen. These days, it's just, I have a problem where like if I if I feel something here, I don't want to shut up about it or want to speak out about it because I'm passionate. Because I care, I care about what happens in the future. I care about what people think of me. And that's weird because realistically it's like that, that's a ticket sale. Why should you care about a ticket sale? And I'm like, because that ticket sale was me once upon a time. Mm -hmm. That ticket sale led to me being right here. All I want right now is to show people that this is my heart, this is my love, this is my passion, this is my addiction. What I want, I can't even believe I'm thinking this, but I want that main event spot. I want to do it. I want to show everyone that no matter how hard that it got, no matter how many times you can't be a wrestler, you can't be an astronaut. Can't be a Power Ranger. Can't be any of these things. At somewhere, the love and support of my mum and dad, even if it wasn't there, Will Ospreay would have found a way to be a pro, pro wrestler. Well, my friend, on April 6th, Madison Square Garden, G1 Supercard, here's to dreams coming true. It's the biggest dream. All right. It's almost closing time. It is? I, we've, uh, oh, we've got to clean up. But I want to thank you for coming to Bar MSG. Uh, thank you very, very much. But um, you're the one that works here, man. You clean up. What? All right. <laughs> Save this for me. Good. <laughs>